Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday. We're coming at you with 2019 Panini Contenders Optic Football 10 box inner case number 11 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, so, oh, big thanks too, first off, for all these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Robert with Last Spot Mojo, Denver Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo as well. I'm a Raiders fan. And thanks to everyone here. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see which inner case we're gonna do. Second half of the case is already in the store, folks. We can run. We got time to run that back tonight, if you want to. All right, so we'll go one, two, three for the left side. I'm going to select a die, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we will save this for pick your team 12, which we can run back tonight. I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. We are already, with all the breaks lined up, we're already kind of uh, booked to the uh, uh, till like around eight o'clock Pacific, which brings us to the last two hours of the show. And I'll be honest with you, considering this is my Friday on this Saturday, my my interest in staying staying late as I as I look at look to the weekend, chance of me staying late are not great. <laughs> So get in early and often and lock in your break before it gets too late. Because other stuff could fill really quickly. And then you're like, wait a second, I was waiting for that break to fill. Other breaks are filled. And now it's at the end of the night. All right. So five and five makes ten. Tyler Brenner, what do you need? A Nick Bosa. James is saying Rick Patino. I heard that last night on the... On the on the old sports talk radio as I was driving home, that um, that Rick Pitino could be coming back. I think I heard it on the on Fox Sports. Right. So so he is no longer disgraced, right? Iona's going to take a shot. I mean, what what? Wasn't he having like adult entertainment in dorm rooms and stuff? Well, didn't he facilitate all that? All right, Iona, go for it. Iona is rolling the dice. All right, there's Cortland Sutton. So we're gonna we'll we'll sleep and top load all these. Our team will take care of that. There's Peyton Manning 165 for Robert, and there's Le'Veon to 50. That'll be for Freddie. And now your two autographs. It's a family show, ladies and gentlemen. I can't really can't really delve into what Rick Pitino was doing, but there was a lot of non-family friendly stuff that was happening. Alright. We got Jake Dolega, Do Dolagala. Bangles, that goes to Jeff Myers. 35 out of 49, Tim Brown. For my Raiders. Who's got my Raiders? Scott Corwin with the Raiders. All-time contender, Tim Brown. Love Tim Brown. What, what is, what is, Iona College, is that a private school? They're a Catholic, I was going to say, is it a religious-based Catholic school? Or a private school? And it is, it's a private Catholic college. And they're going to get Rick Pitino, huh? Is it really Franny's alma mater? Oh. Huh. You think so, Greg? Rick Pitino still got that pull? All right, we got Joe Flacco. That's not numbered. We got X's and O's. Gino Atkins, Joe Mixon to 75. And Deshaun Watson to 50. I'm going to go to Braden. All right, your hits, your autographs. We got Rashawn Gary. 
8 out of 75. Rookie of the Year contenders. Green Bay Packers, JM, Jeff Mason. And we've got J.J. Ortega Whiteside, 79 out of 199. Rookie ticket on card autograph for Freddie and the Fly Eagles Fly. How many other teams have a, so uh, a song? Right? Eagles have the fly, Eagles fly on the road to victory or whatever. Right? San Diego Chargers used to have the San Diego Supercharger song. I think Prince did a Viking song, right? There's a Viking song. But I feel like not everyone, like, okay, Hail to the Redskins, that's a song, right? Don't the Packers have a song? Maybe not. And that one dude wrote a cub specific. I mean, where where are the team? No one's writing team specific songs anymore, right? There's the Go Cubs Go song, right, Greg? Exactly. I don't know who that guy is, but he wrote that song. But who's making team jingles anymore? Jack hated the Superchargers song. So does so does Bill Belichick. Fifty seven out of ninety nine. Julian Edelman. Patriots, Karen with that one, and Miles Garrett to 199. Does Eddie Vedder have a Cubs song? There's Jacoby Myers. Their artists these days are not not inspired to write songs for, for their teams. There's Jacoby and Myers. That'll go to Karen and the Pats, her Patriots. She's a Patriots fan. And there's Snell, yeah, Benny Snell Jr., rookie ticket autograph. Steelers, that goes to Steel Curtain in the Steelers, Michael Gallucci. Steel Curtain in the chat. And there's Melvin Gordon the third. That'll go to the Chargers. All right. Anyone else? Any other songs? Dolphins, I think, have a song, right? I'm pretty sure the Dolphins have a song. Dolphins fans, what's your theme song? All right, Redemption on the bottom. All right, there's Miles Garrett, not numbered for the Browns. There's the Green Pulsar. 26 out of 27 round numbers, Rashawn Gary and Darnell Savage Jr., both for the Packers. Jeff Mason, nice. And there's Drew Brees to 199 for the Saints. That'll be for Josh. Lose Mouse just died. All right. There's Tiki Barber. Out of 27, Green Pulsar and Autograph. Anyone, anyone watch or listen to Tiki and Tyranny? It's all right. New York Football Giants, EA with the New York Football Giants. Falcons, well, see, too legit to quit. I mean, that's... MC Hammer did not write that song specifically to be a Falcons anthem, right? I'm talking about people who have specifically written songs for specific teams. Saquon also goes to EA. Uh, Mac Chester, 73, saying, if you haven't heard Fly Marlins Fly by the Creed guy, is that legit? There's a Debo for uh, Tyler with the Niners. There you go. The Creed guy did Fly Marlins Fly. Marlins don't necessarily fly, don't they? They don't. They don't, right? I mean, maybe they jump out of the water. They glide, I guess. Wow, it's legit. He said they wrote it for the Marlins. He said no thanks. 
All right. Uh, oh, who said James also said Super Bowl Shuffle? Should that count as a Bears specific song? Our Lady Peace. Oh wow, that's a poll. Our Lady Peace wrote a song for that one wrestler. Now, I'm talking about teams though. Wait, there's a fa oh 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 I see Ken. So there's actually a Falcons too legit to quit. Falcons version. It's kind of a cover song though. I'm talking original song like San Diego Superchargers. Someone sat down, a songwriter sat down and wrote San Diego Superchargers, put a little melody to it, went to the studio and recorded it. You know? Not necessarily saying existing songs that may maybe reworked for a team. Oh no, you're just kidding? I was I was gonna be like, wow, they 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 did a cover of it and released that. There's Mahomes and Tillman. No, I'm talking original songs like "Fly Eagles Fly." That's an original song. Boss man, who wrote that song? No idea. But that was a thing, right? I feel like in the '50s and '60s, like football teams had their own songs. They're like March. "Hail to the Redskins" and. Fly Eagles Fly, San Diego Super Charger. I think Dolphins have a weird song too that they play all the time. Oh, Always a weird song. There's Leighton Vander Esch, Player of the Year contenders. That goes to Clay Franklin and the Cowboys. Brian Burns, 24 out of 50. Nice Rookie of the Year contenders right there for Clay Franklin and the Panthers. Clay with two in a row. Sorry, Marlins Will Soar is the song 73 is saying by Scott Staff. And All right, there's Kyle Allen right there also for the Panthers. Halfway through this half-case break. Danny, how are you doing? Super so Did Smashing Pumpkins really write that song for the Seattle Supersonics? Sam Sherry saying Steelers song is Here We Go, but that's an existing song, right? I'm talking like an original song, not a song that a team... Look, listen, the Dodgers play um, Randy Newman's I Love L.A., you know, but that's not a Dodgers song. There's X's and O's for the Seahawks. That'll be for AEA. Khalil Mack will go to Michael and the Bears. We got Ty Johnson, seventy-five. I'm Phil Mickelson. That's me. Long before I had psoriatic arthritis, I've always been a go-getter and kind of competitive. Flash forward, then psoriatic arthritis started getting the better. Detroit Lions. That's going to go to Josh. And behind Goff is Riley Ridley. Riley Ridley on-card autograph for Michael. There you go, Mike. Shy Town Bears. Do the Bear Bears? I feel like have an organization that should have like their an original song. Like a, like a goofy, goofy march or something. That, you know? Back when marching bands were, were a big thing. Greg saying, did you know Ch Charlie Finley that owned the Oakland A's was the first on to call Stanley Burl Hammer? Oh, because it reminded me of Hank Aaron. Oh, I guess Super Bowl Shuffle. Right, sorry. Someone James mentioned that earlier. Right, that's a song that specifically was written for by Bears, for Bears. Out of 27, Alvin Kamara. Green Pulsar for the Saints. That'll be for... Josh Melton, Kenny G, 50. That saxy card will go to Josh and the Lions. Your autographs, your autos is Joan Williams. Rookie ticket autograph for Karen and the Pats. And we've got 31 out of 50, Daryl Johnson, Moose. Moose. Uh, 
That'll be for the Cowboys. Clay Franklin with the boys. A mother we've all heard of? No, they're just asking for a mother effer. Mother hen. All right, these guys are these guys are family friendly right here. Okay, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, that's the number two answer. And, uh, Mary, they already got. That's number five answer, I think. Let's go, Ash. Mother Kardashian. All right, Ashley, nice try. No, I don't know. He just says name a mother. We've all heard of her. Deshaun Watson for the Texans. Braden, X's and O's. Joey Bosa, Keenan Allen to 165 for the Bolts. That's going to go to Regimel. And there's Josh Rosen to 199. They already got Teresa. That's like number one answer. That was number one answer. Quadri Allison. Falcons. That goes to Patrick. Oh, so here we go. Was written. I thought that was a song that someone else wrote. For like, not for the Steelers, but specifically for the Steelers. I see. Mother Hen was a was a ant. Some guy tried Mother Hen. It was it was ant. James is reporting that there are a lot of NFL teams with fight songs. We got to look this up afterwards. Mother Nature. Mother Nature. We missed that one, you guys. Dwayne Haskins is not a miss. Evan Levine. Eight out of 75. They got the steal. They got the steal. Good job. Dwayne Haskins, on-card auto for Evan. Nice. Mother Nature. How do we not get Mother Nature? There's 90 people watching right now. None of us got Mother Nature? God, we should be ashamed of ourselves. Pick your team 11. Almost done, folks. Two boxes to go. What's... That's what I would have said, Greg. Uh, the Autumn Wind was an NFL film song, though, James. I don't know if the Raiders could... Can the Raiders claim that? I'm thinking more along the lines of San Diego Supercharger song. Fly, Eagles, Fly. That kind of stuff. The song Prince wrote for the Vikings. Although I do like that song. Autumn, Autumn Wind is... Out of 165, Mark Rippon for Evan and the Redskins. And out of 50, there's DeAndre Hopkins. The Autumn Wind is a Raider. The Autumn Wind is a Raider. The Autumn Wind is a Raider. Stealing and pillaging just for fun. There's Gunner. There's old Gunner. Gunner Ole. That goes to Karen. There you go, Karen, and your Patriots. And there's 10 out of 35, Curtis Martin, all-time contenders for the Jets. Nice, Scott Corwin with the Jets. Nice. James, I, James Majority, I also like the, uh, the, the song Summer Wind. Autumn Wind, Summer Wind, wind songs, love them. Blowing in the Wind. Dust in the Wind. A lot of good wind songs out there, folks. What are your top wind songs? Also, oh, Greg's saying Steve Goodman, the guy who wrote Gubs, Go Cubs Goes, also wrote The City of New Orleans that Arlo Guthrie sang. So this Steve Goodman guy is just trying to get into the good graces of every city, huh? All right. Summer Breeze. That's a good one. X's and O's. <laughs> that's how the song goes. Summer Breeze makes me feel good. Zach Thomas to 27. Green Pulsar autograph. One of my buddies, Big Dolphins fan, loves the Zach Thomas. 
Oh, yeah, Seals and Croft with Summer Rhea. That's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. Exactly, Jack. Frank Sinatra, Summer Wind. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, Against the Wind. Bob Seger. Nice, Ken. That's a good one. That's a good wind song. No, Kansas, Dust in the Wind. That's a good one, too. Justice Hill. Rookie ticket autograph for the Baltimore Ravens. Robert Throne with that one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are Dunzos. Pick your team 11 in the books. Thanks, everyone, for watching and breaking with us. Really appreciate it. The next half is in the store right now. Candle in the Wind. There you go. Both versions or original version? Norma Jean version, James. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. In the books. We knocked it out. Pick your team 12. Second inner case is in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.